on. Jody Neal is out of the hospital and recovering. Coming up, an unusual lawsuit against a gun manufacturer. A local man who suffered severe burns after learning that flare guns don't have safeties. Plus, they stole the... A local man has filed a lawsuit after he suffered severe burns from a flare gun. He says the gun went off while it was in his pocket. Rux Russell has the story. Flare guns are supposed to keep people safe. That is a danger. But to Jamie Miller, they're just dangerous weapons that can harm. It burnt all my gas all the way up to around here. He I'm points to where he was badly burned one gas. night just as he was about to go fishing with one of his buddies. I grabbed the flare gun, you know, and I put it in my pocket because, I, you know, I was going to be on the water. But when he tried to pull it out, I heard a boom, you know, like a shotgun went off. And Miller says he never even touched the gun's trigger. He just reached into his pocket and accidentally tripped the hammer. The neighbors are like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. Miller took these pictures of his injuries. Doctors have treated him with antibiotics and performed several skin graft procedures, all because he chose to place a gun in his pocket. What were you thinking? Well, I just, I mean, I just, I had, you know, loose pants on and I was just, I had my hands full. We checked the labeling on the package and found no specific warnings about how to safely stow the device. An attorney has filed a lawsuit against Orion Safety Products accusing the company of negligence. If they manufacture the gun without having any safety mechanism on it, they have a duty to warn about the things that you can or cannot do with that product. Company officials refused to comment on the case, citing the pending legal matter. Meanwhile, a man who once trusted one of their products... I don't want to see this happen to anybody else. ...says he'll never use a flare gun again. Rux Russell, KHOU, 11 News.